Hello, I'm Katie Wardrobe and welcome to a Music Tech Tips tutorial. One area that many Sibelius users find difficult is creating drum parts. Unless you're a percussionist or have some experience writing for drum parts, it can be difficult knowing how that pattern inside your head should look on the page. And then you're faced with working out how to actually create it in Sibelius using multiple independent voices and a variety of note heads. Wouldn't it be great if Sibelius had a loop browser like GarageBand or Acid so you could audition the drum parts first and then paste them into your score? Well, you may be surprised to learn that it does. One very underutilised feature of Sibelius 5 and 6 is the Ideas window, which I'll open by clicking this button here or going to Window, Ideas. The purpose of the Ideas window is twofold. Firstly, it allows you to store your own snippets of music in this Score Ideas section for later use in compositions and arrangements. Secondly, by clicking on the Library tab, I can access the provided 2000 plus pre-made ideas which cover a variety of musical styles. There's a search field at the top of the window which allows me to type in tags so I can find ideas that suit my score. Type in a musical style like Classical and press Enter or Return on a Mac to bring up all the classical ideas. Or type in Hip Hop and an instrument name like Guitar to narrow your choices even further. But today I'm after a jazz drum part for the blues piece I'm working on. In the Ideas window search field, I'll type in jazz drums and press enter or return on a Mac to bring up my options. I can listen to any of the ideas by clicking and holding down the mouse button. And from there, it's as easy as copying and pasting my chosen drum part into my score. I'll select it in the Ideas window and copy it to the clipboard with the shortcut Ctrl-C or Command-C on a Mac. In my score, I need to select the bar where I want the drum part to start and then press Ctrl-V or Command-V on a Mac to paste it in. While the drum part's still selected in my score, I'll repeat it by pressing the shortcut R for repeat over and over until I've filled the entire piece. If you use Sibelius 4 or earlier, you won't have access to the Ideas window. But fear not, there is a solution for you too. Tune into the next blog post for an alternative one-minute drum part.